Hey folks, welcome back to the channel and another project in the cave workshop. So I was recently asked to do a project for somebody, no, not necessarily as a video for the, ch for the channel, but um, I was asked to make, or see if I could have a go at making, a spurtle. Now, <laughs> I didn't have a clue what a spurtle was at the time, but basically it's a kitchen implement for, for, stirring, for, for stirring porridge. <laughs> it looks very similar to um, a garden dibber. If you remember, I did one of those or oh, a number of videos back uh, last year or something like that. So if you have a look, I'll put it up on here for that video. And the spurtle is very similar in style, but it's got a little bit more sort of um, contour shaping to it than a certain type of handle as well. So which means, of course, um, I've got to do um, work between centres on a spindle blank which is going to be something that I haven't done for a little while. Yes, I've put stuff on um, centres with regards to the Harry Potter egg and things like that, um, to some degree, not much, but nothing for a while where I've actually properly used a spindle blank. So, that's going to be today's project. I've got this piece of um, utile, I think you pronounce it, utile. Um, it's very, very similar. It's like a light, almost like a light mahogany colour, really, and it is quite a hard, relatively heavy uh, piece of wood for its size. So it's quite dense um, and it's going to be an ideal wood, I think, to make this type of implement. You know, garden dibbers tend to, it can go into wet soil, but usually it's dry soil or something like that. This is going to go into um, hot, warm, soggy porridge and stir that. So it's got to be a good quality wood. So um, let's give this a go. I'm going to mark it up get it between centres, start rounding it off and see what sort of carnage I can come up with. <laughs> Here we go folks, let's give this a go.
Okay, so I've got the shape and styling that I want um, for the spurtle, as you can see. So we've got the, the main shaft there. Um, little, I don't know, I've just put that feature in. I think I've seen it on a number of them. It's sort of just to stop um, anything went up onto the handle bit here. So um, I'm going to have to obviously at some point separate this off. But um, I've put it in the chuck here because down here, of course, I've got to separate it from the um, from the from the other end here. Um, but I need to obviously finish this end off. Now it's not a sharp end as such; it's quite a stubby, blunt end required on one of these. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the um, rest back on, the tool rest back on, and before I put any finishing products on this. I've, I've sanded it through the um, through the grits as you've seen. Didn't do all of them obviously. Um, I'll show you all, all of them but um, I've gone through from uh, 120 through to a thousand and I did a bit of shaping. Now you may notice that from the harder grit, you know the 50 grit, um, this has looked a little bit now thinner diameter what I did was I realized that probably is a bit too chunky so I tooled it back down a little bit more um, I didn't show you that I just got on with it uh, tooled it down a little bit more just to give it a thinner profile as you can see here which is much better um, so before I put the finishing products on like the Yorkshire grit and so on I'm just going to put the tool rest on just to get this end bit done here um, it's going to be a little bit sort of sticking out quite a lot here so I've done the harder pit when it's secure so now the next bit now is just simply cleaning it up, shining it up and finishing it off. So um, yeah, bear with me, I'll finish this bit here 
and then do the rest and then finally part it off here and then try and do something finishing the top of the handle so <laughs> wish me luck on this one I don't like this bit so here we go Okay, so that's the end parted off, a uh, bit delicate and precarious, I hate doing that I must admit, but anyway I've, cut, I've rounded it off there look, um, and then obviously gone through the sanding process, so got it all finished off now, so what's left to do on here is uh, put the sanding sealer on it to get this grain shining up and then go through the two um, Yorkshire grits and then put the finishing wax uh, wood wax 22 over this and I think it's job done and then part this off as I said do something with the end there so here we go let's get this thing finished off shall we nice
There it is. Job done. One nice spurtle made from, did I say it was? Utah? Something like that. You have to look at the beginning of the video, I can't remember. But it's Utah or something of that, you know, something like that anyway. But there we go. A lovely piece, oops, nearly dropped it. Lovely piece of wood. Um, if you can see it too well there, but the sheen and the flop of the reflections on the wood is absolutely outstanding. It's beautiful. And there we go. So I kept it as a simple design. Um, just a bit of a, a notch there, you know, a, a bulge there, just to somewhere to hold when you're stirring it, when you're stirring your porridge. And there we go. Cool. I really enjoyed making that. I haven't done a proper uh, spindle work you know, between centres for quite a while and uh, it's nice to get back into it you know and do something at a higher speed because this thing was flying on there just to get a really nice finish so really really happy with that and I hope you enjoyed the video if you did of course please hit that like button if you've got any comments to make please do I always welcome them um, and if you're new to the channel again welcome and please consider subscribing it really does help if you're already a subscriber or you've just subscribed, welcome back, welcome to the channel. You know, I hope you enjoy all the videos um, as much as I enjoy making them and doing these uh, lovely pieces of woodwork like this, wood turning projects. So, all that remains for me to say is thank you very much for watching and be safe and I will see you on the next video. <laughs> Take care folks.